There's another lockdown technique today, um, the electric chair, which is both a submission if the guy's not that flexible, and a sweep. You test the submission, if the submission's not there, then you just turn it into a sweep. So it's a pretty good move. We're going to start again where we don't have the underhook. We're going to do an underhook recapture called the whip down, and then we'll go into the move from there. So, okay. Josh has me in the underhook. I mean, he has me smashed, all right? So I'm going to get the lock down, right? I'm going to weave my leg over. I'm going to lock it down into here. Boom. Like this, okay? So I've got the lock down on his leg. That gives me control of this leg with both my legs, all right? To get my arm, all right, I need to make him give me some space, okay? Last week we did the Jaws of Life where we cramp, we pull the face up. Um, that's not always available though. Sometimes they hide their head and they're savvy to it, so I can't get my hands in front of his face. So another option is the whip down, okay? It's like the whip up, but you're whipping this way instead of this way. If I whip him this way with both my legs and he doesn't post this arm, then there's a, poss a good possibility that I'm just gonna roll him over. So to keep from getting rolled, he's gonna put this arm out there, which is gonna give me the ability to swim that arm in. If, for the purposes of this move, I can get here and then do the whip down, that's great because I can go right into the electric chair. Not necessary, but helpful for the purposes of this move. So for the whip up, if you guys remember, we were whipping that way. For the um, whip down, we're going to whip this way, OK? So I'm going to get my legs going kind of in this pendulum, and I'm going to roll this way. See how I put his arm out? That's the reaction that I want. Now I come under here, and I whip the other way to get to here, OK? So now we're here. In the we go to here. I want to get his leg up on my shoulder. If I could put my hand on my head, my ear to his thigh, then I'm doing all right. Okay. Now I'm going to continue because not not everyone's just going to let me do it. I'm going to push this way, right? While I roll that way. Oh, okay. I want to get up on my side and up on my elbow. Okay. If I can get to here, grab my own hand and extend and hip in. Depending on his flexibility, some people will tap to that. Not everyone will. If they're in this belly down position facing away from you, definitely test the electric chair submission, OK? If it's not there, if he's too flexible, or if he just rolls to his back, which some people will do because they don't like that submission, you just roll right on top. Do a little cradle here, squeeze it all together, back step, peel that hook off, and then come to side control, OK? Again. No, it's like a groin stretch. What would you say? What do you feel in that? Uh, yeah, groin hip flexor. Yeah, it's like a weird inverted banana splits. So he's got me. We're going to do the, um, the whip down technique. So we come to here, OK? S extend the leg with the lockdown, OK? Get it nice and tight and secure. I'm going to whip him this way. Oh, he puts the arm out, which is the reaction I want. I come here. Now I whip the other way, get my head down low to his body, this hand around the waist. Scoop here, lock down, use your knees. You're going to roll your body, OK? If you just try to scoop it with your arm, it's not going to work. We get to here. A lot of guys will be pushing back into you at this point, so you've got to use this arm to keep them away, OK? Until you can get all the way up on your side. Then we come up on our elbow. We come to here. To, to make this submission work or to do, use the uh, submission mechanics, I want to try to hip down and turn my chest towards the mat as I extend my legs. Maybe he'll tap, maybe he won't, OK? Some guys just roll to their back because they don't like it. That's fine. I come to here. Try not to hurt your partner's grind. Back step, scrape the knee. Yeah, it, it might like pop off here and there. You just gotta just gotta reestablish it. Okay. So we get to here, right? So for the lockdown, we did it last week, right? You're usually normal half guard. Lockdown, reverse, take this foot, hook the ankle, and then take this, this inside leg now and extend it, and that tightens it up, OK? So now we're here, right? He's got the underhook. That's not what I want. I whip it up, <laughs> makes this gap. Now I whip it the other way. We get to here, OK? I'm coming, coming in, rolling my knees to use my whole may need to push here or here to, to create that distance. Then I come up, gripping my own arm, extending, looking towards the mat. Maybe he taps, maybe he doesn't. 
if I want to finish the sweep or if he just rolls to his back, I just follow him up, cradle it all together, scrape the knee to side control. Okay? All good. All right, partner up. Let's do it uh, two times each and switch. One, two, three. Before we got it, uh, sure. It'll take some practice. 